Today, um, 2017 was released, F1 2017, and we're going to jump on and do a career mode in it. So we're going to choose the Renault Formula 1 team. Um, we're going to be teaming up with Nico Hülkenberg, so we're effectively replacing Palmer. So we really can't really do much worse than him, to be honest, because the season has been, quite frankly, quite terrible. So, um, yeah, not really much expectations, of course, coming into this. Um, so mostly, um, most games I have raced on Legend AI, but, so I'm going to try to do it on this game, but... This is the first time I'm going to be jumping onto it, so I don't know, I don't really know what to expect. So, you can see that we're going to be doing full qualifying, 50% race. As I just turn on all my assists, which I need. So, yeah, we're going to have to have pit assist off. So, um, of course, with this new game, there's going to be a new um, well, pit, pit assist. Well, pit assist now, um, off now means that you have to also engage the pit limiter, which is new from 2016. So yeah, here we are, we're going to meet our agent. So it's the same agent from 2016, so pretty box standard. But this time I think, yeah, she's got something around her eyes, it makes her look like a ghost almost. So... So yeah. So yeah, um, I agent they're just explaining well what the team really expects of us. Um, of course, Renault this season has has been quite quite a strong team, so we're definitely in the midfield. So um, obviously the team will have some high expectations of me. So you can see here what's also different is that you have different parts of the engine. So if you overuse the engine, then um, you actually can you well you have to replace engine parts, which means you get grid penalties like in the real. Formula 1 season, so I think that's quite a good addition. So, here we are in practice 1. We're going to... Well, here we, we got race strategy, which is, quite, which is new from 2016. Qualifying pace, which is the same. And I think there's also fuel saving, which is also different from 2016. So, um, we're going to do acclimatisation to start with, because that's the only one I'm really comfortable with. So, here we are on to track acclimatisation. We're going to be using um, third-person cam, which I normally use nowadays. So, you can see now... We round the final corner. We start track acclimatization. So you can see um, it's, it's exactly the same as 2016, but it, just slightly different noises when you actually pass through the gates. So uh, it's been quite a good start. You um, will purple the first three, you'll green the next two. But um, yeah, hopefully, if we just don't miss the gate, we can get the purple score. Because trust me, I'm not going to get purple scores in the rest of them. Because right now, I mean. I mean, I've never been good at fuel and tyre saving, so, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be quite hard in those. But, yeah, we've actually been flying through this. We've actually only been green on two of them. So, we've absolutely flew through this. And we're purple on almost all of them. So, you can see here, that as we cross the line, well, we have one green there. But, apart from that, it's been all purples. So, that's brilliant. And we're going to get a purple out of time, so, um, which is brilliant. So, we're going to then... We're going to try to return to garage, it's in a different spot to where it used to be. So I'm um, skipping on to the tyre wear tests. Well, I thought I'd brave it, see if I could actually do it. I couldn't do it in 2016, and sure enough, well, you can see here I couldn't do it in 2017 either. Going straight into the red, and before we even end sector one, we're almost fully in the red. So, um, yeah, once again, can't really do this check acclimatisation. Um, we skip on to the end of the lap and we're fully in the reds and I just decided to abort. Uh, there's no way I'm doing three laps with that. Um, so, we thought we'd try qualifying pace, see how we um, fared against the ultimate AI, I'm sorry, legend AI, which is on 100 difficulty. So, this is the hardest legend AI you can get, of course, with the new slider system they've incorporated. Um, quite a shabby entry onto this lap, but here we go now. You can see, our team wants us to get 13th place, which is quite high. For our first race of course um i don't really like this track at all so if i get 13th i'll be more than happy but here we go now we're gonna just try to do a few laps we're four tenths down in sector one so i wasn't really expecting to be up there in 13th but yeah here we go a second down on the delta which is not good at all because we go through sector two we take that quite well we gain a few tenths back on the delta but as we're finishing up the lap, it's not going to be a good lap at all. And yeah, we're just going to be a second down on the delta. So, um, yeah, definitely we're going to fight this an uphill struggle. But it's going to be sort of realistic because, after all, we are in Julian Palmer's seat. 
and yeah, he hasn't scored a point yet in this season. Anyway, here we are meeting our engineer. So yeah, um, there's the engineer just explaining the R&D system. Of course, it's actually revamped this year. I mean, they've got an R&D tree now, which um, is much more um, advanced than they, what they had last season, where they only had a few upgrades you can do. So here you go, you can actually do whatever you want upgrade-wise, and it looks really cool, to be honest. So I'm really looking forward to delving into this. Um, yeah, our engineer as well. I haven't got too much faith in him right now. I mean, he, well, at the end of the day, he was going to be introducing us to this, and he took a phone call, so, yeah, typical engineer. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be going on to practice two now. Yeah, so you can usually just have a look through a few more things. So, yeah, this is practice two, and we're doing a race strategy. So, this is another new one. You have fuel saving, which I'm really not going to attempt, because if I can't get tyre saving right, then I have really no chance of fuel saving. And race strategy, um, we've bottled it already. We've gone wide on the first corner, and we're already four tenths down. So, um, yeah, it's been a pretty shabby practice session, but, I mean, we are in Julian Palmer's car after all, and, yeah, I mean, we're too far down, so we're just going to advance to qualifying there. So there isn't much more we could really do in practice. So, just saving time. You can see, actually, Lewis Hamilton getting um, the fastest time in practice. So the Mercedes definitely up there with the Ferraris. I think they are the fastest car just about in the um, tech tree. So you can see now we've got a new rival. And sure enough, it's going to be our teammate. So yeah, no surprise there. Same happened in 2016, so nothing much changed. And yeah, they want us to qualify 11th for higher, so... Yeah, I don't. I doubt I'll be able to get anywhere near 11th, but I mean, I'll, you may as well try. But first thing we just need to get through Q1, really. And yeah, also another thing: these waiting times are just ridiculous right now. Probably because it's a new game, but it just takes forever to load. Anyway, as we go on to a qualifying one, you can see some of the most of the features are just the same as 2016. Really, haven't really changed it much. So as we go on to qualifying. Well, nothing really much expecting. So we're just taking a flying lap. And we're just going to go flat out here. You can see our teammate Hulkenberg's also had the same idea. And he's up ahead of us. So, yeah. So we just activate the DRS. It's been quite a good lap so far. I say that and we won rise. That's going to lose us about two tenths. We cut that corner, which is going to lose us another tenth. And we hit that curb there. So we probably lost about two, three tenths in that sector. So we could probably improve on that. Ricardo goes fastest on the soft super soft tyres so it's a very good lap there from Ricardo. but I'm sure the, um, the Ferraris and the Mercedes will definitely match that if not go better as we um, yeah, go on to the third sector it's been quite a good lap so far haven't really made that many mistakes um, hit another curb there which isn't going to do us well hitting a lot of curbs and on this game I've noticed that curbs really do slow you down and if you want ride as well so as we qualify it will be P6 but as we skip on to the end it's actually going to be P20 so we're going to have to go out again a flying lap so I mean yeah the AI are definitely stronger this year um, I mean you've seen in other well, YouTubers videos they definitely go for more um, moves which is good it's gonna make racing more exciting um, so as I go on to my final well, will be one of my final qualifying laps Verlein blocks me and Ericsson block me so both the side was getting in my way and Dawn's up ahead hopefully he doesn't block me because I've only probably got one lap after this and sure enough, he's slowing down, and yeah, I have to go up his inside. It's a bit, a bit naughty from me, but he just didn't get out of my way. So I had to pull that lap. We've got one more lap really to do now. We've got Van Dorn on our tail, and we won wide. So automatically, we've lost about two tenths. And we won wide again, so we've lost another three, four tenths. So it's been a really bad lap, and we just aborted it, because yeah, we can pull that gap down. And ironically, my AI actually tries to take out Van Dorn. Well, 
I don't really blame it to be honest. Um, so as you see there, qualifying one, um, there are your standings. You see Vettel coming in fifth, behind one of the Williams actually, but he was on the super softs instead of the softs, ultra softs, sorry. So you can see that Hulkenberg out qualifying me, and we qualified in last. So you can see our reputation has definitely been hit, but I mean, our reputation is still probably better than Palmer's right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really expecting much this race. I mean, it's one of my least favourite tracks. So I, c I just really want to get this race out of the way. And then China should be much better. So race strategy, we're going to change it up slightly. We're going to start on Super Sauce and end on the Sauce. The one stop is probably the only competitive strategy here. So as we're about to start, you can see we're going to get a good start. And Alonso gets an even better start. He's going to get alongside one of the... Um, well, he's going to try to get positions, but he actually ends up chilling back. They're going to go three wide up ahead between um, the Sabres and Van Dorn. Van Dorn actually gets hang out to dry, and we're going to get up. We're going to get up the inside of Alonso. And you can see the Sabres actually are both ahead of the McLaren, and McLaren definitely the worst team right now. You, you can't tag the back of Ericsson. Actually, that's going to mean we can't get up on the inside of Van Dorn. But we're going to try again, being really aggressive up the inside of Ericsson, banging tires a bit, but Ericsson defends. We're up two positions. Not not the best start, but. Same time, quite a good start. We got the McLarens, but we get a bad run there, so we're not really going to be able to challenge Ericsson. So yeah, um, we're going to try to get up the inside of Ericsson. He leaves a space that she holds it, holds it. So yeah, I don't think AI in 2016 would have done that. I think they would have moved out the way. So it's definitely good to see. That's the racing I like to see. So you can see now, I'm trying to get Ericsson. We're going to throw it up the inside, this time I think we got him, but now he's going to hold it again, so it's brilliant stuff from the AI. And unlike Ragnar, he actually squeezes this out a bit and actually suspends the position, so that's really good racing. So much better than before, and I think one of the four seniors actually has dropped back a bit, I think that's Esteban Ocon. So yeah, um, mediocre starts, so we haven't actually gained any positions since lap one. So we're going to try to close in on Ericsson, and Kvyat is out the race, so it's been a crash. I don't really see many crashes on 2016, so it's nice that they have a few crashes here, but we're actually going to go up into the back of Eric's and then lose a bit of our front wing, so yeah, that's all our hopes of points finishes gone, basically, because like in 2016, if you use your front wing here, you're absolutely screwed. So you can see now, actually we get that corner pretty spot on, but you can see running a bit wide, and again there, so um, it's definitely going to hamper our speed for the rest of the race, so yeah. We're in full damage, of course, so even the slightest um, tap can really result in damage. Here comes Ericsson. Ericsson's going to look to the inside, going to go down the outside. No, he defends. And that's us keeping 16th, but Ericsson's going to try to pass under pressure. So even though our front wing damage, we're only two positions away from what our team expects us was, and I say that, and we have to blow it, and Ericsson's going to get us. So nice room on the outside, and because we're squeezed out and with our bad front wing, Van Dorn gets us as well, so... We're going to try to get around his outside, but he gets us. We're down to 18th. It's been quite oh, quite a shabby loss. End of the lap. We're going to go on the inside of Van Dorn. We're going to try to hold around the outside, but we just can't with our front wing damage. We cut the corner, and we've only got Alonso behind us. So, yeah, I'm surprised Alonso's all the way down in last, but I don't know. He's probably going to overtake us soon, and sure enough, he's putting us under lots of pressure. If you go through this corner, you run wide, and yeah, that's us down into last we actually tag Alonso but luckily the damage model is much better in this game and we don't go spinning like we would have been in 2016. Cutting on to lap 5 and we're actually about 5-6 seconds behind Alonso so we're just going to pit for a front wing change. So you've got it on auto so hopefully it does change the front wing. Also we had to manually do the pit limiter which is quite interesting and we're going to have to manually exit the pits and wow 2.7 seconds stop so yeah they haven't actually changed the front wing so well, so you just basically made a pointless pit stop. So, yeah, we're basically out of the race. We don't have a chance of getting in, well, not even top 18 right now. Cut to go to lap 8, and yeah, we just dropped back. We're about 30 seconds behind, and yeah. Went wide, hit a wall, and that's us out of the race.
And as we can see, it's time for the podium. As the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. So actually, um, Vessel wins this one. So I think that's the first time I've ever seen somebody apart from Raikkonen win a race in 2017. Hopefully they um, fix that in the first day patch. But anyway, so that's actually did the one stop. So yeah, as I was saying, one stop much more competitive. And it's a one two for Ferrari. So Mercedes definitely look on the back seat right now. Williams actually gets seven and eighth. But yeah, it's quite a good race. Well, not for us, of course. Nineteenth. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we had some good battles in the early stages, but I was never really expected to do that well in Austra Australia. So, another ridiculously long loading screen, and I oh, was still loading. So amazingly, we still actually get resource points out of that race, which is pretty shocking. But we're going to lose a lot in the rivalry. Look at our, look at our, um, yeah, that's just ridiculous. We have absolutely no reputation with teams now because of our race results. And somehow, we get quite a lot of career school. Um, so this rich guy must be really desperate to be honest because he must have not seen the race as well because I love it how he says keep the car in one piece when I couldn't even keep the Renault car in one piece but yeah here we are we're gonna choose pursuit so we're gonna drive actually another Renault um, so that should be sort of good for the team just showing that well I like Renaults to be honest but I mean to be honest right now our reputation's pretty much ruined <laughs> we had a really bad result but hopefully in China we can get a points finish because it's my favourite track China so but we skip all the intros we're gonna be starting this race in fifth and yeah, we're gonna have to wait for all the other cars to go. And you can see these, this car automatically sounds better than the 2017 car. Uh, so yeah, it's much better sounds actually. So it's quite nice. But it has a ridiculous turn in. So you can see that I'm cutting all the corners because I just can't get used to this turning. So yeah, but it's quite a shabby first lap. So yeah, we're probably gonna fail this challenge as well, which is not good for our reputation, of course. But. Yep, it's been a pretty bad career um, episode right now for us, but yeah, I mean it's still better than Palmer's career so far. Um, so yeah, as we go around this corner, we're closing in on Mikalski, so hopefully, oh, this is, well we're already on the last lap, so we're going to have to make a move now, but you can see the Renault much more downfall, so we're going to, we're a long way back, but we're going to get a good run, we're going to go around the outside, and you can see the Renault definitely much faster but we're gonna try to get third we're gonna dive up the inside of Sari who's in Hakkinen's car but we're not gonna get Kaufman we're just gonna get third so it's an alright result I mean I was expecting better to be honest but I mean it's much better than our race <laughs> so um yeah that's probably gonna be it um hopefully in China I can actually have a good race so join us there and yeah see you then